Beckham. It's What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Rebuilding Manchester United. Don't forget if you're enjoying this series, don't forget hit that like button down below. It really does help the channel out in terms of just getting the channel found and algorithm working and that kind of thing. And if you're new here, like what you see, red button down below. I'm assuming, I think it's red. Subscribe button down below. Hit that button. Do it now, right now so you don't miss a single thing of future videos on this channel. And if you want to get involved in my Discord or my for my Twitch or Twitter link, Twitch or Twitter links. They're down, down below in the description as well. And if you're a Man United fan, which I'm assuming some of you are, hit the button down right at the bottom to follow the Man United podcast that I do weekly. Um, so yeah, we're on the screen of a new contract. They give me a new deal with actually the maximum amount I could get extended till, which is a bit of a rarity for me. So yeah, I'm on £245,000 a week. I wish I was. I'm not really, but I wish I was on that kind of money a week. Um, so yeah, um, that's great news. Today we've got a game against Huddersfield and Bournemouth. Mixing things up a little bit. A bit of cup, cup game action today. One game off camera. Let's take a look. So it took us a while to get going in this game, really. Um, first half an hour was non eventful, really, but finally we got a ball in the box on Thursday. Oh, Kyle and Mark's great header. The amount of power he generated there was absolutely fantastic. And then we got a second goal not too long after that, really. Yala got the ball. Great ball over the top. Good touch from Martial. And a lovely little finish from the Frenchman to make it 2 0. Not the most exciting game on the, on the planet. We were. We were okay. We weren't amazing. We just did the job we needed to do. Um, and we'll take this out as well. Good to see. Clean sheet as well. League table looks no different, really. Um, though we've got interesting team new, interesting games coming up in the 8th of January. Man City played Liverpool and we played Chelsea. So obviously, I'll, I'll, I'll update you what happens there. The schedule, I want to talk about this, guys. Now, are you okay with me doing this kind of thing? I'm again looking for feedback at this point. Because I want to do a cup game just with a bit of difference. But obviously I will try and show a big game which I possibly can. But I just thought, you know, if I'm gonna do a short gap again, I will show two cup games because never I've done before. But next episode will be Bournemouth or Liverpool in the next round. Uh in the next episode. Um because obviously I like to show big games, but I can't show all those games. The Ch I can't show Chelsea, Chelsea, Tottenham, Arsenal and Liverpool, can I? I just can't do it. No way I like to do things anyway. So let me know, guys, what's schedule in the comment section. Anything you think, yeah, maybe have this rule or whatever. I'm always open to feedback on that. Um, I try and mix it so we show a bit of all competitions, big games and small games as well. So Huddersfield today, so we're going to rotate the squad because we've got a big game in the cup coming up. So I'm seeing who I want to play. I think Terz deserves a break. He's been a lot of football recently. I must think Tomine deserves a crack um, to today. Um, and Cavani can go up front for Martial. And I'm going to play Henderson in net. Because I feel like I need to play him a bit more so he's sharper in case of the hair injury. Um, I'd love to... Left-hand side is a bit of a issue. But again, no Rashford is obviously impeding that um, kind of rotation play there. So let's see if we can get Huddersfield, guys. It should be a three-pointer. Three it should be a win in this game. But this is FM. It's also me playing FM, so all could happen here. Um, let's go out there. Yep, yeah, let's go and get this win if we possibly can. It'd be nice to get a few goals um, in this match as well. Let's see. I do. I will admit, guys, I'm missing the. I am missing the whole 3D, the whole 2D thing. Um, but we'll see. Also, I'm going to try a higher speed, guys. Let me know if you prefer the speed or slower speed or not, and I'll obviously change it if there's a. Really, that's a foul. I don't agree with that. I think that's a good tackle from uh, Mamasaka. Brown with a free kick into the penalty area, and it's going straight through for a free kick to us. Yeah, higher speed, guys. We don't know, we don't know which you prefer. Corner kick now for Bruno Fernandes to take. Curls it in. Penalty area cleared. Number Neves. Number Neves! Oh, nearly a goal for Neves there. Good strike. Free kick again. A good ball to Son. Son? Oh, wow. Um, he's fired that cross, and... Wow, it's going for a corner kick. I, thought, I didn't realize the keeper saved it. Bruno curls it in. Dial's in there. It's cleared. This is a lot faster, isn't it? 
Uh, but I've went a bit, a bit too quick for my commentary. Sean, I've be, beaten two of them. Well done. If you get a golf miss, if you get a golf miss, he does a lot of credit for this golf if you score. But Tom Manager in the box. Now I'm Saka. Still got the ball. He's very involved. Okay, free kick eventually given. Um, okay. Is he getting his, his, his. Not a red card, surely. It is! Wow. Red card to this field. That is um, surprising that was given as a red card. Um, didn't feel like it was going to be given. Um, on ball the pitch. We're dominating. We should dominate, dominate, dominate this game now. Transebe. Bacano. Ruben Neves. Transebe. Right, I'm going to actually just. Um, Took this off and just go for that because I feel like we're just getting bogged down and bogged down in short passes here. Diallo, when we sack it on the right, let's get us one. And with Diallo shooting blocks, he's getting a lot of opportunities like that recently. Half time, and it's not really good. Uh, the form's like there's not really that good enough. I'm going to say, um, not really good performance out there. Just need to do up the up level of, level of play, really, in this game. Um, just feel like we're. We're a bit too just safe with our passes. That's better than Neves. One was like a beats his man. But a bit of fortune maybe in the penalty area now. Again, just that's one of like problem that there. He's not creative creative, creative enough in those in those areas. Unlike Mbappé, Bruno Fernandes, because in their post to Diallo, and it's been cleared. Just we, we had a better team. We just can't find that chance to score. Cavani is unlucky there. That was oh, side anyway. But that's better though. Williams, Neves, Williams. Cuts inside. Ball in the box, cleared. Neves, McTominay, good ball to... Oh, no, maybe not. Again, pick up loose ball, Neves. Well done. Mamba Saka. Again, just, he's just not... He didn't create anything, is he, really? He beats his man the cage, but then he just doesn't do anything. Diallo, good ball to Cavani. Cavani's got a score, and he does. Manchester United won. Huddersfield nil. Edison Cavani. Actually, from working ball in the box, which is kind of funny. I'm going to turn that off for a second to try and just up the uh, quality a little bit. Nice football again. Beautifully worked. Um, the movement was very, very good. The touch from oh Kavai's touch is brilliant there, isn't it? This isn't so perfectly. Keeper kinda of gave him an open invitation there to put him on the far side. One of them against others filled. But deserved really. Not the most exciting games at all, but very easy to edit though, based on how it's gone. Um we just not it's kind of a thing I've noticed in recently, we're just not looking like a free scoring team. We scored we're scoring goals, but it's it's a slog to get them. We have to work oh it's a great ball that down the line to Ward. Tight angle, good save Anderson, but offside anyway. But yeah, I think we work on conversion and creation a bit more just to try and get that going again well that was a boring game really i'm actually not happy with that performance at all against 10 men against Huddersfield, we just didn't do anything that what i consider to be enough uh, i'm going to actually say well not unacceptable that's not really good enough it's kind of free i'm noticing the list of the game was kind of similar the slog to get those two goals uh and after that there's frustrating frustration frustration so we're going to add a bit more training on that trying to just to focus on that a bit more and trying just to Try with just that issue, but it's a win, it's a clean sheet, a rotated side, so there are more positive than negatives. But yeah, I'm picky, as you probably guessed. So, we've got a loan offer from Fred for from Watford. Uh, I'm gonna actually negotiate this because I want him out of the club long term, I don't want him to stay here. So, I'm gonna make a mandatory fee because I want this guy, guy out. Obviously, I'm not, not gonna get 20 million pounds for him. I want a mandatory fee of 20 million. Not happening, it's <laughs> not happening. Um, Okay, 15, we would accept like 17 million pound. Reject. Not happening. Um, I can I can never sell this guy. I don't understand why. Um, I'm going to throw him out again. 19 million pound. I want at least around 20 million for him. Fourth round draw, guys. About to be made. Let's see who we get. I'm going to draw all teams. Or have to be here forever. Who have we got next round? We've got Rotherham. That's cool. That's a good draw for us. Home against Rotherham. That's very handy. Obviously, that rearranges the fixtures slightly, so it's still quite always done for the fixtures. Uh, does it affect our live comms next episode? Uh, right, so it's not gone, it's not gone yet. So we'll look at that end of the end of the next game. Another loan off for Fred, twenty million pound optional. So they can't afford that fee. So I don't understand why they won't actually just go for it. Mandatory fee. No, just he won't leave. Pereira, same thing again. Optional fee is is worth more than that. I just don't like this transfer system at the moment. It's really annoying me. I can't sell players for even remotely decent uh, transfer fees. Uh, I'm just going to just reduce, take that off. £50 million pound mandatory fee, 8.5. No, I'm not selling them for that. Valuations don't make any sense on Pereira um, at all. But yeah, guys won't leave. Players, once again, AI just want to sell high and buy low with my players, unfortunately. 
Intimate payoff of £10 million. So we're going to try to negotiate this up to at least 15 But I'm going to ask for like a bit more than that. Um, £18 million. With it. It's just terms. Bye-bye Pereira. He don't play. It's guaranteed £80 million. I probably could get more for him. But I just want him out of the club. £80 million for Andreas Pereira. I will take it. I will take it. Do you want, do you want Fred as well? I'll throw him in as well. Right, guys, match to number two against Bournemouth. I'm not going to do, guys, for, for comparison, I'm going to slow this one down, speed speed wise, so you get a fair comparison in the episode. Push higher up. We can't push any higher up. <laughs> Literally, if you look at our opposition, we can't push any higher up. All right, other than them. Um, off the top, off. I'm going to keep that off, actually, from going forward. I don't like having it on. So, um, pop it in. Sal, in you know I'm going full on lineup for this match, don't you? Because I want, I want, I want to win this, win this tie convincingly, um, rather than you know one nil. Um, we have been working on conversion and creation. It's something I don't do often. I don't often get involved in the training. It's moments like that when I when I see a domination, a domination of, of possession and just not creating enough or scoring the scoring enough, or both in this case, and then jumping there and say right, I'll just start. If I see Ball attention being sluggish, I jump in. You know, it's only when I notice something happening a lot, I then jump in. I, I then jump in on the training. Uh, I let my assistants do it. That's what they're there for. That's, that's what my coach is there to do. So it's always speed down a little bit, so you guys can um, get a fair reflection. I think this is probably better for you guys to watch, um, but for episode length, for episode length, it's probably better on a higher speed. So let me know. In, let me know in the comment section. Rico. Cook, Lerma. Again, we're pressing higher, but these guys should be on the across the halfway line. Masaka to Bruno, Bruno to Pogba. Bit of space to run into. Can he find a pass now? He's been closed down a bit. No, nope, he's just decided just to lose the ball instead. Um, that clear. Again, just engage. Just, again, it, it, we're starting slow here. Again, we're just not. Again, that, these guys should be up here on we can't see, uh, up here on the pressing, but they're not. Um, and it's just one thing I, I never like about matching is trying to get a good ball. That is Martial. It's trying to get what I want to see, what I see in real life to do it happen in the game. It's something I always struggle with. I'm not saying it's follow the game. I'm saying I don't. I don't know how to get it to do what I want it to do. Um, at times, Greenwood didn't get it. Tellers cuts inside. Shoot Tellers. Have a shot. Why? Why did he shoot? I don't understand why. Why he didn't shoot? Foreign. Amasaka. Greenwood. To Bruno Fernandes. Bruno shoots. Good save. Finally, a decent opportunity or a decent, decent attempt on goal. But this team is struggling to get any kind of tempo in their play. Tellers kills in the penalty area and it's been cleared. I'm trying to sort this clock issue, issue out, guys, but I can't seem to do it in a minute. And Son loses the ball. Good tackle from Bournemouth. Free kick for Bournemouth. Brooks dinks it in. Cleared. Greenwood, your ball. Get running, Greenwood. Now, don't pass this yet. Run it. Commit the defenders. Right. Keep going. Go on. Oh, oh great goal. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, he's not had a support then given and he's been forced to give it away. But what an error that is. No, I called it goal before it even happened. Um, well done, Mason Greenwood. Great run. I was hoping that someone would commit a bit, bit faster and get, get over the support him, but he didn't. I thought I lost it here. And then, oh, it's a horrible goal. I mean, we've considered those this, 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 on this series so far. And we scored one there. The horrible goals. I, just hate, I hate seeing them. But we'll take it, won't we? Pay a pass, Pogba, give away again. Pogba, again, Pogba's been absolutely diabolical today. He's been very negative passing and giving it away. Bruno, good ball to Wamasaka. Look at the space he's got now. Drill it in the penalty area. Penalty? Gotta be a penalty, because... Is he giving it? Come on, referee, give the penalty. I think it is a, I think it is a penalty. He's giving it. You can't tell them th from the tech. It's very bad text for Bournemouth. Um, so Bruno stepping up for another penalty. Big moment in the tie, this. Come on, Bruno. Oh, nicely slotted in. Manchester United 2, Bournemouth 0. Not the most amazing performance, but it's 2-0. Um, and if we can keep going and get more goals, maybe we can get his tie over in the first leg. Very good penalty from Bruno. Since he keeps the wrong way, finds the bottom corner as well. Well, not quite bottom corner, but close enough. 2-0. Happy days. Third goal would be fantastic. And I don't think it really... Comes across with a 3-0 no, no performance so far. Sal. Pau Torres. He's got space to pick out a pass. Or more, more like time, really. Martial. 
Sal, Pogba. Good ball, Pogba. Well done. Well picked out. Mamasaka beats his man. Mamasaka, Martial. It's a lovely cross and just couldn't quite find the net. Martial. Martial should win that. Maybe not. Slanky. Son wins that. Well done. Oh, again, just didn't get the ball back though. Very scrappy performance of that. Well done, well done Partoy. He's just saying, you know what? Nuts to this. Let's calm this down. Henderson with the ball now. He might go along with this. Yeah, 40 might. Henderson. Long ball to Martial. But finds Son on the left hand side. Can he beat his man? Son usually can. He's quit inside. Well done, Son. Hit it now. It's 3 0. Was that a pass? Did Son pass that to Martial? Or was that a mishit shot? This is where replays are very handy. So he does really well here, this Son. Cuts inside. Let's have a look. I think he's passed that. I think he's played that into an area for Martial to knock him back in the net. 3 0. Out of nowhere, it's not been a 3 0 performance, but we'll, in my opinion, but we'll take it, won't we? About to be half time here, and we're 3 0 up, and I think, I don't know how we are, because I don't think we've been that, been that, been that good um, in terms of. Oh, come on, Bruno. Bruno Pelton's here, yeah. Bruno shoots. Ooh, I think there's a little curl on that. It didn't, didn't quite take effect quickly enough for it to bend in the bottom corner. 3-0, though. Is it the training? Just uh, We've created the same amount of chances before as we did in other games, but we've been a bit better at taking them. Uh, I'm going to say, don't have performance level drop. Keep it going. If we can get a couple more in the second half, that would make this tie kind of over and would allow me to at least then rest some players for the second leg. Um, in that, in the reverse fixture, sometimes not often, but it does happen. Like here, you see this way I'm talking about with like this awareness of defensive play. Son should be at least be aware the guys getting forward with him. I'll say this for Pogba today. He's been very good at winning the ball back in good areas, and then he goes driving forward in the penalty area. Pogba shoots straight at the goalkeeper though. Didn't really think he was going to score that really based on the angle that he had. In terms of the corner kick. Can he curl this in the penalty chair for a good opportunity? And it's cleared again. I'm going to make a note after this game to go straight into corner kicks and stick a striker in the six-yard box. Because right now there's no one in there. It's very easy to defend. Corner kick for Bournemouth. Cook takes it. Swings in the near post. Cleared. Push out, lads. Again, slow to come out of the, come out of the box. Good tackle that. Cavani's on the ball in a bit of space now, but there's no real support around him. Um... Now there is a bit more now. Let's hold the ball for a little bit. Cavani in the box to Pogba. Back to Martial. And it's a fourth goal. It's like really good pass from Pogba. I said earlier on, I don't know if it'll make a cut. Pogba's had a great game today. He's generally winging the ball back. That's the first time he's done something in a good attacking sense. Crowd is really well holding the ball. It's a good ball in by Cavani. Pogba just flicks it back brilliantly. And Martial with a cool finish. That's probably a tie over now. At 3 0, thinking maybe, maybe an early goal in the second leg could change things. Offside being checked here, but Tia, I think he's offside there. I think he's look. I think he's offside. I genuinely think he's offside. If I uh, can I wind his back, I think I can. Just wind his back. Is he going to show the lines again? He can't. He's not showing lines. But wind it back and pause it when the lines come. I think his left foot is offside. But we'll take we'll we'll take the goal four nil. Uh, that should be game and tie over now. Not been an amazing performance. As a, we, we, we played better and scored less goals, um, to be really honest. But we've been very clinical. We've had our chances. We've scored four goals. It's another clean sheet, which not to be sniffed at all. At all. Um, 20, 22 shots on goal, 10 on target. Goals expected 3.47. Cannot complain at all with that. I just want to ask you, look, when I said about the pressing, I'm not going to go at the game. Just to, clear, just to clarify, I'm saying... I want to do a certain thing, but for, it seems like maybe I'm missing something in the in the tactics. Now we'll get to the screen now and explain. If you look at if you look at outside possession, look at that, right? Am I being too literal? Thinking that should be replicated on the pitch, because these guys should be right up here pressing. These guys should be right up. These guys should be right up here. They're not doing that on the pitch. Now, obviously, if I change to a cam. Let's just let's just do that for let's, do, let's, let's just do that for the sake of argument. Um, let's put him there, and then just go out of possession. That would help, wouldn't it? That would help with, with the pressure. But I'm worried about the DM not being in there. So is that reason why I'm not pressing because I'm playing a, 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 a deeper three, or is it a thing in the game where I've got to change my mentality to more attacking, uh, or very attacking, or something like that? Last year I think it was if you go very attacking, you get that high pressure press. 
just curious as to what I've got to do to get... What I want to do is basically, when they get the ball, I want everyone pushing right up and forcing long balls to my, pay, to my high centre-backs who can win it. That's what I want. If there's a way, if I'm missing, if I'm if I'm missing, if I'm missing something, probably am. Let me know in the comments section. So, next episode, let's have a look what we got on the schedule. This is a nine bug. There we go, fixed it. And um, so we got rather we got one, two, three, four, five games off camera um, against Chelsea, Palace, Tottenham, Villa, and Rotherham. We'll come back. Um, shall we do a second? I think we might as well do the second leg just for sake of continuity. We did the first leg. I think we should do the second leg as well because if something crazy happens in that second leg, I'd like it to be recorded. Uh, so Bournemouth and Liverpool in the next episode. Liverpool, big game, a massive game. And then after that, we're going to probably go do Barcelona and Southampton unless there's a final dropped in there somewhere. So there's your there's next episode, guys, lined up for you as of right now. Big sure could change things. We're in January. I don't anticipate any, tra any transfers. I might try and do some um, business on young talents. Um, we'll have to wait and see. So, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, and I hope you have, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. And I'll see you all tomorrow, 7pm for another upload. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.